Conservative commentator Cal Thomas under fire from some Muslim groups over comments that he made in the wake of the UK terror plot. Take a listen to this. Not all Muslims from the Middle East and South Asia want to kill us, but those who do blend in with those who don't. Would anyone tolerate a slow-spreading cancer because it wasn't fast-spreading? Probably not. You'd want it removed. All right, Cal Thomas stands by his words, and he joins us right now. Also with us is Hussein Ibish. He's the executive director of the Foundation for Arab American Leadership. He calls Cal Thomas a professional bigot. Hussein, Absolutely. bigot? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this is the umpteenth example of this from Cal Thomas. He's implying that the Muslim population generally is a threat because some people are fanatics and some people do bad things. I mean, it is a little bit the same logic as saying, well, not all Italian Americans are members of the mafia, but we can't tell the difference, therefore we have to get rid of all the Italians. Or not all Catholic priests are pedophiles, but we can't tell the difference, therefore you've got to get rid of Catholic priests. I mean, this is just spreading of fear and hatred. The disclaimer, rather than actually helping, made it worse, and he might as well just put on the white sheet and set fire to the cross <laughs> right away. It's that bad. I mean, I, I, oh, I think the real Cal question is, why does he have a column? Why is he Let him answer. Television? Let him answer, Cal. Uh, yeah. uh, sure. We're going to have a filibuster here, I guess. Well, to be called a bigot by, uh, by this gentleman, if I may uh, give him a compliment he doesn't deserve, is sort of like uh, being uh, called ugly by a frog. Uh, Mr. Abish is one of the uh, leading anti-Semites in this country. When he was yeah. co-editor of the University of Massachusetts newspaper, the uh, president of the college there had to uh, appoint a special commission uh, to oversee his writings. Not he has true, praised not Mao Zedong. He has praised uh, Deng Xiaoping. Uh, he, uh, this is another word, disinformation thing that he does as well. He denies that. that there I is mean, truth to that. He has uh, denounced of course the United there was no States as being a terrorist organization. He interrupts people when they're trying to present facts yeah. in order if to you to say that the, the, the University of Massachusetts had a committee to look mm -hmm. at my writings, you're lying. Well, guys, well, let's, let's, let's get back to the well, basic argument here. And Hussein, sure. one of the arguments is this. Yeah. Uh, if, if after incident in incident after incident, whether it's in London, whether it's in Bali, whether it's in any of the places that have been hit, right. sometimes repeatedly have involved yeah, Muslims, a, right, is right. it not a fair argument to raise that, uh, all right, there seems to yes. be some extreme Muslim activity course, going absolutely. on. Absolutely. Yeah, of course. And no one disagrees with that. I mean, I think I've been uh, very so where vocal do you draw the well, line with Cal? I'm going to try, try to explain it. I, I mean, there's no doubt that there's a, a conflict, mainly in the Islamic world. I mean, most of the victims of these people are other Muslims. Uh, there's no question that there's a fanatical extreme and that it's incumbent on mainstream societies here and there to confront that. And, and in fact, that's happening. And there's an Precisely ongoing battle. But saying. we have a, a problem in this country with hatred and fear-mongering and this kind of divisive stuff that is designed deliberately to split Americans, to divide is Americans, that what you're doing, and to Cal? stigmatize uh, millions of Americans not, on the basis uh, of many of, the, uh, many of the Islamic schools and mosques are funded by the Wahhabi cult from Saudi Arabia. Uh, there are two in this area, in Washington, D.C., and Alexandria, Virginia, so he's and doing in it Potomac, again. Maryland. Uh, they, they teach that uh, Jews are scum, that they're pigs. They refer to Christians as cross-worshippers. Uh, they believe that their God wants infidels, meaning people people like me dead. Now that's far more hate than I've heard coming from any other organization. Well, here's the problem. The problem is that what Cal Thomas says is there are some extremists and some not extremists. He can't tell the difference. Therefore, the entire population is suspect. In I've 2001, never said that. you did. It, that's exactly no, what you said. And no, in I your, didn't. you certainly did. In no, a, you're a liar, I sir. To you, I listened to you twice today, and no, you, you said the problem is the that you can't tell the difference. The truth still hasn't gotten through then to you. Well, but Cal, it's, it, but you didn't say that. Let me stop you here, guys. I want to get back on message. I want to get back on message. Cal, you are a very good, Hussein, uh, just stop right, for a second. Ahead, Cal, ahead. you are a very good writer. You're very good at this medium. You know how to elicit reaction. Were your comments meant to elicit a reaction? No, they were meant to tell the truth. Look at what we've got in Britain right now, Neil. We've got doctors. Whoever thought that physicians, people who presumably take the Hippocratic Oath to do no harm and to preserve life, who would allegedly be involved in a plot yeah, there are, to there kill. There criminal doctors uh, throughout history. This is, this is a, a plot of infiltration. This is very clever and very well done. They come well, into our nations, they claim they want see? to be free, and then they Who's preach and teach and convey uh, a kind of uh, twisted religion that 
claims their God wants everybody who doesn't w agree All right, with him dead. That he, he's not, yeah, he's not making the problem. I, that's fine if he's talking about this fanatical extreme, very, very tiny, especially in the United States, very tiny minority. But he doesn't. Many tiny he says you others. can't. He says that's that's true. McVeigh and Nichols are good examples. Of that. The point is, he says <laughs> yes. he can't tell the difference. And in 2001, he told the Israelis to expel all the Arabs from Israel because, again, he he said you can't tell the difference all right, between guys. peaceful Palestinians guys. and not. This is what he's doing. He's just, all right, you, you, you both argue your points. We're, we're out of time. Okay, better go to my clan meeting, back. Neil. All right, pathetic. We'll get